Nero was born on the 15th of December 37 AD in Antium, near Rome. He was the only son of Gnaeus, a cruel consul of Rome, and his wife Agrippina the Younger, sister of another infamous emperor, Caligula. When Nero's father was congratulated on having his son, he reportedly said that nothing produced by me and Agrippina could possibly be good for the state or the people. Taking the throne at only 17 years of age, Nero's domineering mother Agrippina attempted to control her son and influence his decisions as emperor. Eventually however, Nero began to reject his mother's advice which prompted her to attempt to turn the public opinion against him. In an attempt to secure his hold on the throne, Nero killed his stepbrother Britannicus and banished his mother from his palace. In 59 AD, fed up with her interference, Nero had his mother killed. Nero divorced and banished his first wife, Octavia, his stepsister, on grounds of infertility and adultery, later having her executed. He then married Sabina in 62 AD, and the couple had a daughter who died in infancy. Sabina then died in 65 AD, reportedly due to Nero violently beating and kicking his wife in her stomach during her second pregnancy. He then married Statilia Mezzalina, after forcing her husband to commit suicide. Following the Great Fire of Rome which caused widespread devastation before being brought under control after six days in July 64 AD, Nero blamed members of the Christian religion for the fire. He ordered swift persecutions. Some were condemned to be dressed in animal skins and torn apart by dogs. Others were crucified, and some were even lined up and burnt alive to provide light within the emperor's gardens. In the aftermath of the fire, rumours quickly began to spread regarding this cause. As one popular account goes, Nero had been planning to construct his grand palace, but needed to clear a large enough area to accommodate the complex. So he arranged for the fire to break out in order to clear the aristocratic dwellings on the slopes of Palatine Hill and gleefully fiddled as he watched the fire encompass Rome. The truth to this claim, however, remains contested. So with many citizens in desperate need of aid, Nero exhausted the Roman treasury rebuilding the city around his 100-acre palace complex. At its centre, he commissioned a 100-foot-tall bronze statue of himself. Reportedly, people in the palace would eat until they vomited, and then couple for massive sex parties, while rose petals fell on them from above. In 67 AD, Nero fell in love with a young man named Sporus. He then ordered him to be castrated and married him. Noted by the historian Cassius Dio, this was because Sporus bore an uncanny resemblance to Nero's dead former wife, Sabina. In Nero's time, there was a famous assassin named Lucusta who specialised in poisoning people. Sometime after Nero came to power, Lucusta was made to pay for her crimes in a horrible way. According to a popular story, Nero had her publicly raped by a specially trained giraffe before she was finally torn apart by wild animals. <laughs>